What's up guys? Today's video is on the GARMI NVI VOACTIV4 Golf Watch Review 2022. Garmin Vivoctiv 4 First Impressions Like I was saying before, the Vivoctiv 3 was my favorite multi-sport watch because it was comfortable, did everything I needed it to do, and it wasn't overly expensive. The newer Vivoctiv 4 continued that but there are a few more features that should make it a bit better. The first change is that you can pick two different sizes with the 4. It comes in a 40 or 45 mm version and I like the 40 because it was a bit more compact. Some people like the bigger watch though. The second change is that music storage comes standard on the 4. With the 3, you had to pay extra for that feature but it comes standard on the 4. You can play music through Spotify, Amazon Music, or whatever else. The final difference is battery life. It's not that big of a difference but the 4 comes with a slightly better battery. It's going to last somewhere around 8 days in smartwatch mode whereas the 3 would last somewhere around 7 days. Garmin Vivoctiv 4 Golf Features I'll start off by saying, these multi-sport watches aren't going to be quite as good as some of the higher-end golf-specific watches like the Shot Scope V3. Some of those offer some pretty cool features but the Vivoctiv 4 is going to give you all the essentials. The first thing you'll have to do is download the course you want to play. It's pretty straightforward but all you have to do is go to the Garmin Connect app and look for your course. It'll be saved to your phone after that. The watch is going to give you the basic info you'd need such as what hole you're on, what par is, how far away the front, middle, back of the green is, and the shape of the green. You can also move the pin around for specific distances. You can also see hazards, doglegs and layup spots on each hole. It'll show you the distance to the front and back of each hazard, what type of hazard it is, and where it is in relation to the green. One of the more useful features is that it'll tell you how far you hit each shot and will record that info for you to look at. All you have to do is hit your shot, walk up to your ball, and it'll tell you how far. You can view your shot history after your round to figure out how far you hit each club. And yes, it'll keep score for you. Pros, respiration tracking, pulse oximeter readings, on-screen workout animations, onboard music storage and support for Bluetooth headphones, underwater optical heart rate monitoring, Pillaid support. Cons. Uses multiple smartphone apps. Excessive badges. Garmin Vivoctiv 4 non-golf features. The reason you'd get a watch like this would be for the non-golf features. If you'll just use it for golf then go with the S60 but if you want to track your fitness levels, sleep or use it for swimming, cycling, running, or something else, it'll work great. The first set of features it has is fitness, health, and sleep tracking. It'll track steps, calories burned, hydration levels, how well you slept, and it'll even show you on-screen workouts. You can also play music directly from the watch which is pretty cool. With a lot of the other watches out there, you could only control the music on your phone with the standard version of the watch. With the 4, you can play music through Spotify or Amazon Music. It also has a built-in GPS which is awesome as well. You can use it for driving, hiking, boating, or whatever else. It sure beats having one of those handheld GPS units that are pretty big and bulky. The watch does come with 20 plus sports apps already loaded in. Some of them are running, cycling, swimming, climbing, and a number of other sports. I don't use too many of them so I don't really know how useful they are. Is the Garmin Vivoctiv 4 worth it? Overall, if you're looking for a quality multi-sport watch that looks awesome and will give you the essential golf features, the Vivoctiv 4 could be perfect for you. It's not as advanced as the golf-specific watches but it's good enough for most people. It's comfortable. Built well, and the features are all pretty accurate. 